Hey, what's up everybody? Well, I uh, decided to do another one. Only because I was really surprised on how many people responded to that. I was not expecting that. Um, but I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. So far, <clears throat> 22 people have asked, or actually I've been asked to do 22 reviews. There have been, you know, I don't know, could be up to 30 people asking. Because I have three people asking for Cybertron Soundwave, three people asked for R.I.D. Prime. So, yeah, a lot of people have asked for reviews. And the second one is Beast Machines Jetstorm. He is a um, leader class figure. When he stands, he's about... I think he's taller than um, Movie Megatron when he's um, in robot form. He's pretty He's pretty tall. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember what exactly they call these. They had a special name for them, but I can't remember what they were called. I can't remember back that far. It's, it's just It was like six years ago, so... Um... Um, it has lights and sounds, and it has missiles. The missiles go right here, but I uh, um, pack away the missiles, usually. Most of my figures, I pack them away so I don't lose them. And the, uh, I think the batteries have run out on this lights and sounds and everything. You know, I've had them for six years now, so. Um, feature on this, there's a button back here. You f push it, and it flips this up. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it just, you turn it. If you watch the series, um, Jetstorm talked out of his cockpit. And he would, you know, kind of be like a bird looking for the Maximals and whatnot. And, uh, this just rotates it. Kind of like Tankors, you know. You rotate his turret and, uh, I think his head moves or something. <clears throat> so, I once had both of the uh, jet storms from the uh, series. I had the Deluxe Jet Storm and this one. But I gave a lot of my Transformers away to my nieces and nephews because they're a fan of these too. And I was trying to. <coughs> I had over. I had like 350, I was trying to thin my collection out, you know, get rid of the broken ones. And the ones I didn't want anymore, so. Yep. I am not an uptight person. If I don't want something, I'll get rid of it. And I won't charge anybody for it. But don't think you're going to get a transformer from me for free, buddies. Guys, peoples, subscribers. Anyway, let's get to the review. I'm talking too much here. I'm not doing the review. Alright, he's a uh, Cybertronian jet. He's pretty big. Um, he's blue. He's very blue with a little yellow and red on him. Um, he's a lot of... See that? If you turn it to the side, it looks kind of stupid. Because his legs show a lot down here. <clears throat> um, if you pull the legs off, he looks really cool, but... That wears out the joints and his legs become loose, so I don't do that a whole lot. Um, yeah, there you go. Jet Storm. He was a cool character in the show. He was he was a cool bad guy. It's too bad they had to get rid of him. He was he was funny at times. All right, let's get to his transformation. Okay. First off, um, where do I start? Wheels. How do I do this? There's a certain way I do the wheels, just because I'm, I'm that way. I think they go like that for me. Just because they get in the way sometimes. No, it's not like some special thing. It's just because they get in the way. And you pull the uh, wings apart. Those are arms. And then um, separate these panels here to reveal his hands just like that 
Come back here, pull his legs down, and pull his uh, hip down and rotate it, and put it into place right there, and uh, rotate his legs around all the way. Then you take this, the uh, top part here, and flip it down just like that. Take these two panels, fold them down, take these, fold them up. Take his head, push it forward, and then you <clears throat> rotate his shoulders up like that, and um, put his fold his arms into place, just like that. Now, then finally, you fold his wings up. Actually, not finally, because I still have to do his legs. Fold his wings up, just like that. Pull this cockpit back, pull it back to here, put it up like that. And then, his feet, just fold them out. <coughs> fold them out like that, and there you go. There is Jetstorm. I don't have any leader class figures anymore, so I can't compare. But yeah, he is a tall figure. He really is. Oh, man. I really want to compare him to somebody, but I don't have anybody out. Oh, well. Just imagine. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, no real features in this. I mean, he has missiles right here. Push a button and they shoot. He's a, he's a cool figure. Um, so much time. Okay. I guess I can show you really quick. I I think I remember on his uh, bio, he's he um I guess he's has a thing with touching the ground or something, and he never touches the ground. So we always remember him in the cartoon, always just floating there. That's you know that's what that is for. He just hovers basically. But I like his legs and this. Um, on this figure to make him look tough, his upper body and his legs just makes him look tougher. <coughs> so, um, Bone Crusher 4, there's your review. Jet Storm, another figure that will be in my new stop motion movies. Um, so, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll put some more reviews up tomorrow. See you guys later.